Okay, good day everybody. Uh, back with, I'm going to do a couple of short videos. Um, first one I'm going to do is I'm going to test my Digitrax Kijiji by. Um, as I said, it looks like it could be new old stock. Um, I am not entirely sure. But I've got my uh, Digitrax uh, turned on. My uh, command station. I pretty much got everything in screen here in the shot. Got my command station turned on, my DCS. Um, and I've got my decoder tester uh, just linked into my PR3 Extra. I don't have it to the SBP uh, my pra programming track booster PTB. Uh, anyway, and of course I've got my PR3 plugged into my computers with JMRI turned on. So without further ado, let's uh, crack this baby open and uh, Let's we'll see how, uh, if it is uh, new old stock or not. Uh, so the fella that I bought it from when, um, when I saw the ad, all I saw was the photo of the 9-pin connector, which is what's making me believe that maybe it potentially was used, or at least it wasn't connected in the uh, in the bag. So anyway, it was half-ass connected. So we will connect her back up good. And take the protective foam off the pins. Come on. So, orange wire is number one. It's really not that orange. Okay. So now I'm going to just pause for a quick second and reposition the camera to all right, so we're back. And we're back. Okay. So I just repositioned the camera to the screen. I'm going to press uh, new loco. And retype from decoder. Oh. Here's something that I forget. I normally do program through the programming track booster, but I have to select the mode, because it's set to programmer mode, or, no, it's interface mode. I need to set it to programmer mode so it knows to read through the Digitrax PR3. Let's try that again. Local read type. There, we've got some life now. So with this being potentially a factory new decoder, all of the CVs should be um, default, which would mean address 3, the whole 9 yards. And of course, due to the chips and whatnot, it picks up multiple decoders. I usually just quickly thumb through, so a DH123, and I'm guessing it is a four function because it has the two extra wires. Uh, let's see. Two FX3 function. Uh, da, 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 da. Sure, why not? Let's just pick this one. And we will open with comprehensive. I'm going to pause the screen for a minute. There's some background noise coming. And we're back. <laughs> Alright, so I have it open 
and I'm going to go to basics and I'm just going to read this sheet to see what's going down. So it looks like this one has been addressed to 16. Uh, so it looks like it has been used. NMRA only. And it's still reading a couple of CVs here. Okay, so I'm going to go to the CV. One moment, please. And I'm back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read this full sheet, which would be all of the CVs on the decoder. And it should only take a few moments. So I'm going to hit that button, and I'm going to reposition the camera to watch the uh, decoder tester. Just about done. Last few CDs CD seem to take a little bit longer. Alright, so all the CVs have been read, scroll through, nothing stands out bad, for some reason there was really nothing adjusted in speed control, looks like there was some acceleration, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset this to default. So we go to here to the roster entry, reset to defaults go back to CVs and look at they're all yellow again so if I write the changes to this sheet it'll reset everything uh, on the uh, decoder Okay, so it's all been written, all of the defaults. So we're back to address number three, no long address, DC conversion enabled. Uh, there's nothing kickstart and acceleration or deceleration. Speed control is zero, so everything is back to default. So now this is ready to uh, get a new life and a new install. 
I am pretty pleased for 20 bucks it was a good purchase I'm sure so uh, yeah thanks for watching